Hi, this is Alexandra at Beadaholic, here to show you how to use bead bumpers on a beadable earring hoop. Here's a finished earring that I made using some beautiful Swarovski crystal on a sterling hoop with some sterling chain, and you'll notice right on the ends these tiny little two millimeter silicone beads called bead bumpers. And what those do is stabilize my design. And so in this video, we'll be making the companion to this earring using some six millimeter fuchsia Swarovski crystal with some four millimeter beautiful rondelles in the crystal AB finish. We have these little two millimeter bead bumpers in the silver tone and some sterling flat cable chain. I've got a little bit of craft wire that I'll be um, showing you a quick tip with. And for tools, I've just got flush cutters and a pair of chain nose pliers. So the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is prepare our chains. And what I've done is cut a couple of 15 link lengths that I'll create a third length of. And the quick tip here is just to take any piece of craft wire you have sitting around and once you've got your desired length, you can measure the next one up just by holding the two together once you've strung them and hang them so they lay flush together and then clip the appropriate length. So that's my quick way of getting same length chains when, when it's a matter of counting links as opposed to measuring, though I will say that these measure about 7 eighths of an inch. So to begin with our hoop, we're going to start by taking pliers and just straightening out this end bit. When you first order your hoop, it may come already turned up. And so we just wanna flatten that down to get our beads on. The first bead that we're going to put on is our little bead bumper. So that's gonna go on like so, all the way around to the edge about where we think that our design is going to finish up on that end. The next bead we're going to add is a little rondelle. Then we're going to put on the end link of one of our chains and another rondelle. Then a pink bead, fuchsia. And we'll repeat that pattern. We'll bring on another rondelle. And here is where we're going to come around and string on the opposite side of our chain to incorporate it into the design. So I actually have to uh, bring all my beads right down to the end point so that I can take up that end link of my chain and carefully swing it on to the tip of my hoop, like so. All right. And we can come back up and resume beading. The first thing we want to add on is our next link of chain. So the end link goes on, then another rondelle, then our pink bead, another rondelle, And here again, we're gonna scoot ourselves back to the edge of our hoop and bring up the end link of our chain and slide that on. Now our design tip here could be if this is too tricky a fit, you can attach little open jump rings that are slightly larger than the size of your bead links. So maybe a three millimeter could work there if that makes it easier for you. I've chosen a challenge here myself. <laughs> So let me add on our next link, link of chain there. Scoot the design back a bit and add on the next rondelle. Oops. There we go. And then a pink bead. Another rondelle. And this will be our last chain attachment. Getting that end link on there, just like so. All right, so scooting everything back to center, we'll add on our final rondelle bead and our final bead bumper. 
So these bead bumpers come in different colors. Of this side particularly, there is a little black one. There's a gold tone one. And then there's some larger sizes that come in cube shapes as well. Very handy for lots of aspects of design work. So now I'm ready to take my plier and just curve that little end point up again the way we found it. And that will fasten my earring. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. You can find all of these tools and supplies at beadaholic.com. And please also subscribe to our YouTube channel for all the latest updates. Thanks for watching.